What's going on everyone? It's RJ from Backyard Sprouts and in today's video we're going to show you guys how to plant your spicy salad mix from True Leaf and their pre-made spicy salad mix comes with broccoli, kale, arugula, kohlrabi, red cabbage, and giant southern mustard for the extra kick. And we will also concurrently be planting red rambo radish as well uh, because their planting styles are very very similar if not identical and that is all coming up next so in today's video we're pretty much going to show you guys um i'm going to take you guys back here and show you guys step by step how we're going to plant our spicy salad mix the pre-made spicy salad mix from uh, true leaf and we're also going to show you guys how to plant the red rambo radish because it's very similar. And so it's 9.39 p.m. here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So um, unlike the sunflower and the speckled peas, those need to be uh, pre-soaked. So Alex and I have our schedules of when we pre-soak them depending on obviously how we have scheduled our deliveries because we love and pride ourselves in having the freshest um, microgreens in the area. And we've already started getting a lot of super awesome compliments from two restaurants now um, saying that our product is the freshest they've seen which is super awesome and you know we love hearing stuff like that so i'll take you guys uh you'll you guys will just follow me around today and i'll show you guys how we plant the spicy salad mix and the red ramble uh, radish and um yeah we'll start it there all right this is the struggles of being short uh, got him what's up doge <laughs> All right, so welcome to our workshop, RJ's workshop. I will tell you right now, forgive the mess. Holy shit. It's kind of crazy in here, so we're still trying to, I'm still trying to move some stuff around to make sure that my area is the most optimized way so that, you know, I can work freely and not bump in a bunch of things here. All right, so <clears throat> this is my special table. This is my, our organic soil. Um, this is where all the magic happens for us. I have myself this really nice brush. It's made from like horse hair, so it's super fine and it's super smooth. Um, but obviously what you guys want to do is start off with a nice clean work area. I say I have OCD, I don't really have OCD, but you know, I like a nice, nice clean area. So we're going to put our plants here. So we're just going to plant a 110-20 tray of spicy salad mix and we're going to plant one 10 by 10 tray of the our premium red rambo radish. Okie dokes. So first thing we're going to do is get some soil. It's going to be tough with one hand. it up any clumps you see So when you guys are spreading the soil out like this, um, try and get them as evenly spread out as possible. Um, you'll notice that the corners needs a little more love and the rest, same with the sides. Make sure the sides are all nicely filled out. Once you have those, what you're gonna do is, um, I built this little press thing and all you do Take it, give it a nice gentle press, and it's nice and flattened. And you're going to want to do the same with this. 
Once you guys have flattened your flat down, you're going to want to water it. So you take this big watering and what you're going to see me do is you're just going to see me water this. And once you guys have watered your soil, you're going to take your seed. So we have red ramble radish. And then we have the spicy salad mix. So let's start with the spicy salad mix. All right, so this isn't an exact science. What you're going to do is you're pretty much just going to try and evenly spread them out. So I'll start a little on the corner and just work my way in a zigzag formation. Make sure to get some on the edges. And just work your way around. Once you've gone to the end and you still have some mix left or some seed left, go ahead and fill in some of the areas that look a little weak. So almost give it a gentle second coating. Again, you want to make sure you get the edges and the corners. Make sure you guys give those some love. Next up, Red Rambo Radish. Same ordeal. Not a perfect science. Just kind of spread them around. Final step in all this is a mister. Get a good, healthy amount in here, guys. Make sure you get every seed nice and damp, nice and moist. You want a nice, healthy germination rate. And then same with the red ramble radish. I'm gonna be very generous with this with the misting. The last thing you guys want to do is you want to stack the trays. And if you're new to microgreens, you are going to ask, RJ, why are you stacking? What is stacking? <laughs> stacking is where you put weights on top of your flats. That is pretty much it. And I'm gonna add these to my racks. The purpose of stacking is, um, there's actually a really good video out there. I'm gonna see if I can find it and link it with this video, um, if he allows the sharing of his video. Um, but what it does is, it presses down on the seed to ensure good seed to soil contact, which is actually super important. Um, and it also does two things. It's ensuring seed to soil contact is good, and when it starts germinating and it starts pushing up, it's actually developing really good strong roots and really good strong stems because now it's forcing the roots downwards during its blackout period 
and it's forcing um, the product to go upwards and pushing up on that. It sounds a little weird. I was actually kind of scared when I first heard about it. I was like, I'm going to add weights on top of that. Doesn't that sound opposite of what we're supposed to do? Shouldn't we allow it to freely grow? But not for microgreens. Um, it's actually very fascinating how it works. So with the weights, it strengthens them. And it's super cool because you see the actual top of the flat start to push up. And so they're stacking strength, super strong strength gems. It's a gamer terminology for you guys. Um, so you always want to put uh, you always want to put weights on top of it, and you always want to stack it during its blackout period. Because there's this video of this guy that that shows you. Uh, he makes a test. He has one flat without uh, weights on top, and he has another flat with with, with weights on it. And the uh, flat without weights, what it ended up doing is because you plant the seeds so densely, it started pushing the seeds up. And so it, it, it gave it a very uneven um, germination, all right? Uh, some of the seeds pushed the other seeds upwards, so it was kind of staggering the seeds, and some of the seeds just couldn't establish a good root placement into the soil, if that makes sense. By providing weights on top, you're ensuring that the seeds are in constant contact with the soil, and none of them gets pushed up. Um, and at the same time, it makes the stems and the actual um, roots grow super strong. Other than that, that's it for the beginning phases. Um, we're going to continue to pump out more videos and we'll see if we can consolidate all of them all in one video. Maybe do like a crop focus and just do one from start to finish. Um, but this is how you guys pretty much start a spicy salad and a red Rambo mix. And you'll leave them in the blackout period, i say about two days. So it's Saturday. I'll probably take it out of the blackout period around Monday and introduce them to the light and start watering them. But it's super easy. You start them, you leave them in the blackout phase, you take them out of the blackout phase, you let them grow, and then you chop them. So we'll release more videos later. We'll probably release videos on how to harvest our harvesting methods. Um, we do the knife method, we don't do the, we used to do the scissors, um, very time consuming and it hurts. If you have carpal tunnel, we'll give you carpal tunnel. Uh, but yeah, we'll show you guys those. But other than that, if you guys have any other questions, you know the drill, leave them in the comment section below. As always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds, so we'd absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button. So you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure, and we will see you guys next time.